Hi, in today's video we're going to show how to do an authorization trace. Um, uh, we're going to take the example of um, wanting to assign the mass transaction, MASS, uh, to a, a role and we only want that role to be able to um, make mass updates to sales orders. So um, it, what we're going to do is we're going to show how to do an authorization trace to figure out what the um, uh, objects are that need to be added to that role. Um, so the way you do that is you do transaction ST01 and I'm going to I'm going to activate an authorization check. So now I'm doing this from an ID that's got SAP all, so it's going to be able to do every, everything I need. Um, and then what I want to do is um, now I can set some filters to say that um, I only want it to uh, run for a certain transaction or for a certain user. So I, I could do that here um, so that I don't pick up other stuff. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, put in the transaction of mass and then say OK and then I'm going to turn that trace on and then I'm going to go ahead and run that transaction and I'm going to select the object that I want sales orders okay and that's it and then I'm going to return to ST01 and I'm going to turn off that trace and then I'm going to go to the analysis and then we're going to go ahead and uh, start the reporting and see what we get. All right, so what we can see is that um, I'm going to need the object of S underscore T code. You see that right here. And of course, it's got to have the uh, um, mass um, as the value uh, for the uh, TCD. Uh, it's got to have mass. And then uh, it's also also needs to have this object here, the B underscore mass main. And then what we're going to do is the mass object type is where we're going to set that we just want it to be sales orders. So we're going to need those two values in order to make this work. Um, so let's go ahead and set and set those steps up. I'm going to go to uh, PFCG. And I've got a I've got a role here already that I want to go ahead and assign this to, um, so we're going to click on change. Uh, so, so we're doing a couple things in this video. Showed you how to do the the trace uh, the, uh, for the authorization, but then quickly showing you how to add this um, to the uh, to the role. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna manually add these um, s underscore t code, and then we also want to um, add the B underscore mass main. There we go. And uh, I've got the B underscore mass main right there in the ST code. And um, I've got some that are already active for ST code. And we'll go ahead and um, uh, look, look at those values real quick. Sorry, sorry about that. Explode that out. There you go. There, there's the values there. And um, then let's go ahead and for this guy, let's add mass. Uh, and we could have added it to the list up here, but but we're we're gonna uh, use this one here. And then um, we're gonna come up here. And instead of having, um, we we don't want to have full authorization, so we're gonna select the change here. And we'll do the drop down. Uh, probably be easier. We're going to spend too much time. The um, the sales order is BUS twenty thirty two, and we'll say save there, and that's now active. And then we want to generate that. Generate good. And save. And the and the only user that we've got right now assigned to that role is this user one. So let's let's make sure that that has worked. Um, and here's, here's user one right here. So let's make sure that this user can now get to the mass transaction. Okay, no problem. And can it select the sales order? And indeed it can. So, but what if we try that transaction again and try to do contracts? Let's see if it works for contracts. It does not. So notice I get an authorization error. 
So if I were to actually run an SU53, see it's going to show me that for that B mass main, I do not have authority to this BUS2034, which was the um, uh, value for the contracts. So uh, a number of things there. Uh, we did the um, uh, the authorization trace to kind of see which objects we would need and then we um, uh, went to PFCG and actually updated that role added those uh, authorization objects and values and updated that role and then we came back um, to the uh, only user that was assigned that role and uh, did a quick test to make sure that it worked um, hope that was helpful if you hadn't seen some of that stuff before and uh, thanks for watching today's video